Yama, Yarababa Bingo Yama, Tadakanang Nura, welcome. People have lived here for, they say, well over 25,000 years. These lagoon waterways are actually very important, and these were a rich food source for Aboriginal people, and this is where they would erect their gunyas, and then they would live off the seafood. The waterways were places we also gathered for ceremony, for song and dance, and just as families gather today on these beautiful shorelines. The arrival of European settlers in the 1800s brought massive changes to the environment around Avoca Lagoon. The forest of huge trees were logged with the timber used to build ships. Once the native vegetation had been cleared, there was nothing to hold the soil and much of the topsoil washed into the lagoon. Small farms were established to grow crops on the cleared land. From the 1950s, Avoca Beach really took off as a holiday destination and many visitors eventually bought property and stayed. Each house was serviced by septic tanks and highly enriched water flowed into the lagoon after heavy rainfall, encouraging the growth of algae. All of these incremental changes have resulted in reduced water quality in our lagoon. Most of the water in the lagoon comes from the catchment. Whatever flows from the land ends up in the lagoon. If you live here, or here, or here, Stormwater washes grass clippings, sediment, fertiliser and detergent into our lagoon. What we do on the land affects the quality of our lagoon. We need to look after the whole catchment. We can all do our bit to help. Volunteer with Water Watch, pick up your dog's poo, plant native trees. Remember, if it's on the ground, it's in our waterways. Hopefully that we can um, continue to look after them and protect them and preserve them. For more information, download Central Coast Council's multi-touch books from iTunes.